It's made out of cold steel and wood. It's known by virtually every gun enthusiast around the world. And boy, does it not pack a punch. That's right, I'm talking about the classic Red Ryder BB gun. Join me as we talk a little bit about the Red Rider and whether or not it's for you. And don't forget to wear your safety goggles. Introduced in 1939, the Red Rider BB gun is probably one of the most popular BB guns in the world. Why? Chalk it up to savvy business marketing and also just a great, wonderful design. You see this here? The Red Rider. That was a comic book that was really popular with the kiddies back in the day. So naturally it made sense that Daisy would associate their youth rifle with something like that. In fact, they even put this little, like, western strap thing or whatever. Feels kind of, I don't know. This gun is close to my heart because my family was always very weary of guns, mainly my mom. And so my dad had to like really beg my mom to get me this. And he spent a lot of sleepless nights on the couch letting me get this thing. And when I finally had it, it was awesome. I mean, it was special to me because it was the first time I was ever able to just go blow stuff up in my yard without firecrackers on Independence Day or the 4th of July. One of the good things about it, for example, is it holds 650 bullets. I mean, BBs. I'm not running out anytime soon. <laughs> just think about that for a second. You just can't get that with any other kind of gun. It's also cheap. Shooting this gun is probably about a dollar a month. The only better deal is the dollar burgers at McDonald's. Mm. The other thing I like about it is its power. Feel the fury of my BBs! They say that it's supposed to be able to shoot 350 feet per second at like 172 yards. You'd have to like aim it really high and like basically catapult it over to get that far. I don't think that's realistic. I mean, it is flinging metal projectiles quickly at random things you pointed at, so it's pretty dangerous. It's uh, definitely penetrated through this guy, our great value, water. Uh, however, it didn't penetrate through this guy or my other Fanta here. Um, in fact, I actually had a ricochet back towards me so you gotta really be careful when you're shooting with this thing. God, I can't believe it didn't penetrate that. The thing that happened to me was I almost shot my eye out. I was shooting at a tree, like the tree bark, just being stupid, wasn't wearing goggles, and the BB flew back and hit me right here. Like right on the top of my cheekbone. Left a mark for three days. So that's the thing I would say to parents, basically, is you do want to be careful. I mean, the BBs in this gun are basically like crazy bouncy balls. Anything you point them at, anything that is remotely hard, it will just bounce back at. It's just really easy for me to shoot. It doesn't take too much pressure to cock. I mean, for a small kid, they might have to put it in between their legs, but for me, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. You know the rest. Overall, though, I really like the design of this gun. I've shot a lot of pellet guns over the years, and this is the one I always find myself picking up and shooting. It's the least fussy of all of them. There's no gas, there's no loading for the most part. You just go out and shoot, and that's what I love about it. Because it's simple, and it's fun to shoot. And it's a real plinker, and that's what it's all about, is just enjoying getting out there and shooting. For me, at least. So would I recommend the Red Rider BB gun? Absolutely. Just be careful you don't shoot your eye out, and you make sure your kids understand that. Thanks for watching. I'm Danny. Bye. I like to wave, even though I don't really need to wave. Thanks. <laughs>